Hi, welcome to Equazer. In this video, we are going to use Casio FX570ES to evaluate the integral. So we have an integral here. When we do the integral, remember this calculator cannot solve in terms of x or whatever value it just gives you a value a number so when you evaluate the final answer is some kind of number so let's do this uh, turn on the calculator now this is a sign to do the uh, integral evaluation I enter this so now our equation is 2x squared plus 5 dx so 2 press alpha and then x here this x and then press square so 2x squared plus 5 and then dx actually if you want to be politically correct we can have a parenthesis here so now with this arrow go to the right after the dx when you go to the right it comes to the lower bound and that is zero and then go to the right it goes up and enter two so that is exactly at the, as i have here in my equation so press equal sign and then you get the answer 46 over 3 if you want the decimal value that's 15.33 now let's say you want to evaluate this one this integral uh, from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine x dx we know when you evaluate an integral it's the area under the curve when we go from 0 to pi over 2 this is actually from 0 to pi over 2 this area so we want to find the area here under the curve because the angle here is has been calculated as a radian so this value is radian so make sure your calculator is also set in radian so to do that press shift and set up here number four rad so press four and also we see here r so that is the calculator is now in radian plus integral and then cosine of alpha and then x close the parenthesis that's dx with the right arrow go to the right from 0 and then go to the right pi over 2 so here I have this one and then for the pi press shift and shift on this button for the pi and then with the arrow come to the denominator and then 2 now press equal sign so as you can see the value that we got is 1 so this is equal to 1 as you can see here if we do it with hand so the cosine integral of cosine is sine from 0 to pi over 2 that's a bound so if you write it sine of pi over 2 minus sine of 0 so this is 0 and then sine of pi over 2 as you can see in this equation and this diagram it's 1 so the answer is 1 that's the reason that we get 1 and the answer is also correct if I if you check here I put sine of pi over 2 and that's also 1 so make sure you put it in a proper radian format <coughs> now let's see we have this equation and uh, y is equal sine of x squared plus 2x so you are asked to find the derivative which is y prime and then evaluate it at x equal 15 so to do that you take the derivative and derivative will be another equation and then you plug in 15 in the x and the answer will be a number remember again it will be just a number so let's do this in calculator to do the derivative evaluation we use this button with shift so press shift as you can see d over dx now you enter your equation here I press sign and then you see one open close and there is another one 
make sure that we don't forget another closing here so alpha and then x I press this x and then squared so that is and then close this that that sign plus 2 and then alpha and then x so the equation has entered as it is here in my screen as you can see now scroll to the right and then it says evaluate at x equal 15 here because I put it as at our x is equal 15 so I'm entering 15 when you press equal sign it takes the derivative and plugs in the 15 in the equation so the answer is 13.1958 this is the answer remember many people will send me texts or messages and say how can we find the derivative this does not find the derivative it just evaluates it with a value and it gives you a number integral also give you just a number we call it has bounds thank you for watching please thumb up the video and also subscribe i appreciate it